This is a short overview of the nine day ritual, the heptarchic ritual in this magic, in the purest view. And you do purification, isolation, fasting, and praying, and you pray the oration to God three times in a row, three times a day. And you also cleanse and wash yourself. And uh, here are some differences. Some uh, get a white robe and a ring. And then the paper must always be purified. But there is no incense or anything like that involved in uh, the books anyhow. And then you prepare the songs for your request or goal. So it's like in any other kind of angel magic. You choose something from the psalms that describes what you need to be done. And then you make talisman of the kings or the princes. And uh, so, and you can also write in your angelical book. But it all has to be during these days. And... Um, on the nine days ritual, it depends on uh, what planet you are working with. So the nine days start on a day, so it ends that night before your chosen day. So if you have a goal where you uh, need a Sunday or Michael, you start on Friday and at Saturday night you do the last of the nine days and then you go on on Sunday to do the ritual and uh, summoning and each day is divided into six uh, segments of four hours with seven ministers or the one ruler and the six ministers and if you can choose uh, choose one who can perform the task and in that case you do it during the four hours Otherwise, if you do something more, you call on all the six ministers and that you can do any time um, during the 24 hours. And on the day of the summoning, wash, do the spiritual washing. You can use the ritual stuff. And then you face east. It's easiest to sit uh, on a table and uh, you put the seven ensigns uh, ensigns of creation on table or painted on a tray. I had them painted on a tin tray actually and um, they are often made of tin in the days. And then you got the ensign under a tablecloth and recite the psalms for your goal. Then you hold the, this is if you are alone and don't have a scryer, since I am alone, I use my solitary ritual here. Hold the talisman of the heptarchic king in your left hand, or the scryer's left hand, if it's um, the less dominant hand, the receiving hand. And the talisman of the ministers is placed on the ground, So your foot is, um, or the scryer's foot can rest on their names. And it's like a ground, a foundation for the magic to work. So it's nothing like a punishment. And then you recite the oration to God three times in a row. And here we start the summoning. Recite the invitation to the heptarchic king. And then you do the same for the prince. And if nothing happens... Uh, you can read the, uh, repeat the invitation up to seven times. And uh, most usually the king sends its prince. And in whatever case, even if you don't feel or um, see anything, tell the royal angels what you need and the name of the minister or ministers who can aid you. And then you sit there silently, you can scry think, meditate, contemplate, and write down the information from the angels. 
and ask what they require from you to achieve your goal. I've always worked like that in angelical magic that I give them a promise and then I keep the promise. So that has always been the deal. And after the download or vision, or sometimes it don't even happen that way, but you perform the gratitude anyhow. And you close with sobs and prayers of gratitude or thanksgiving, depending how you put it. And my personal fast, uh, how I do it, is uh, I drink only water or tea. And the bread I eat is two to three days old. You never eat fresh bread since it's um, it got high sugar, the carbohydrates. They go down with them um, when the bread gets staler and uh, nothing else. And that is, I only took the bread when I'm feeling faint. And I only eat during night time, so nothing at all. I eat, uh, put nothing in my mouth on uh, during sun hours. And then for uh, my bath, I use salt and I cut some pine into it and scrub myself. I'm allergic to most of the plants used in the other systems. But uh, for fasting, there are many new ways uh, and why we don't, in the north, we didn't have vegetables more than in the summer months, so you can't be on a vegetable diet. There is only uh, meat or bread. And you cut out the meat, so that leaves me with bread and water. And, uh, of course, in the more southern and eastern parts of Europe, and western parts of Europe, they have oil. But... Uh, in the north, we didn't have oil since it freezes, so um, that meant that I can think that I might have to start with my age to put on a little click of butter on top of the bread. That might be good. Uh, so, um, since the Creator created us and we were born in different countries, so... Right in the way they knew that uh, Andy was in Prague, so he didn't have the same materials in Prague as he did in the uh, UK. So I think that it goes with the country where you live in and um, so forth. And I, I'm allergic to oils. There's uh, anything with seeds that comes or pressed from seeds is uh, off the table. So... This was just a simple ritual and how I do it. And somehow this... The nine-day purification is used in the magical papyri, Solomonic magic and everything, and there are slight differentiations there. But uh, when you really want to connect to the angels, the purification and isolation is uh, really crucial there. And uh, uh, that was all for now. And what you can do is... Uh, Use the internet only in work or what is must be done. Don't spend time, don't go out partying, don't gossip, don't... Especially the first time, then it becomes easier after you got the connection. But as much isolation as possible and as much prayer as possible. And um, that's what takes it. And have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.